Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexis, if you don't already know. And today, I am really trying to be in high spirits and high energy for this video, but this is a very touching subject. Um, as you can see by the title, this is basically going to be about Black Lives Matter, the George Floyd, um, all the other innocent black unarmed men that got killed by police brutality. And this, I'm, I'm really, I'm really like going to try not to cry throughout this video. Um, if I do, like, if you see multiple takes, then it's probably because of that. Um, yeah, I wanted to get on here and just speak on the subject um, because I do have a platform. Although it is a very small platform, it is growing and it's still a platform. So people do need to be aware of this. Um, also, I'm not as brave as the people that are on the front line going out protesting every day that's um, witnessing this police brutality, that's being shot with rubber bullets, that's being tear gassed. I'm not as brave as them. I wish I was, but I'm not. So I just wanted to spread awareness um, with my voice. Um, I also have been posting on my Instagram about everything that's been going on, but also YouTube's also one of my platforms too, so I definitely want to make a video. First, I want to start off with saying there are plenty of organizations. I got some sticky notes so I can um, tell you all the organizations that I personally donated to. Also, um, there is a petition to get the men um, charged for the murder of George Floyd. Um, they actually update i saw this morning the police officer of course he got accused but he got accused of third degree murder but they upcharged him to second degree they finally arrested the three other policemen that was in the video kneeling on um, george floyd um they have not said what they have been charged with yet but they are in police custody so let's hope and pray that they get charged for the crime that they committed but i'm going to um give you all places that you can donate i will be putting in the link for these um the link for these websites and these organizations in the description box so um the first one that i personally donated to was um the gofundme with uh gianna floyd um she has a gofundme if you go to gofundme.com and you just type in her name gianna floyd um, she should pop up right now. They have a goal. Um, their goal keep going up because they're getting more and more people to donate. Um, right now, I think their goal, when I just looked on the site before I started this video, their goal is $1 million. Right now, she's at $999,000 right now. And you don't have to donate too much. You can do a generous amount. If you can't donate a generous amount, go, donate what you can. I donated what I could. So, yeah, I donated to her. And I also signed the petition for the color of change state of emergency is state of emergency in the war on black people. Like I said, I will be posting the link for the, um, the organizations that I donated to and also the link for the petition. I'm probably going to donate to a lot more, but that is what I have done so far. Um, that is the help that I tried to give so far. So yeah. Um, I'm sorry if my energy is off in this video. Usually I'm real like upbeat and just goofy and just so much energy. But this is like one of those subjects that like it just it just breaks your heart. It breaks everyone. It broke everyone's heart. Every state around the country is protesting right now. It's not even just Minneapolis. And I think I said that wrong. Sorry, because I'm terrible at states all the day. But it's not just the state he was actually killed in that did a protest. All 50 states, uh, and not even just 50 states, all, all countries around the world um, are protesting right now. And I hope they continue doing it. Even though the men, you know, got um, arrested and they are in police custody, we need to make sure they get accused, they get charged, and they go to jail. That's what we have to do. And even if I'm not on the front line, even if you aren't on the front line, make sure your voice gets heard. Make sure you go and vote. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, so our voting starts June 9th. Um, there's also another election vote for presidency in November. You need to register and you need to vote. 
you need to register and you need to vote. We have to get those racist people out of office. All the people that are allowing these policemen and these white people to kill innocent black men are in office right now. We have to get them out. They have to go. So with that being said, um, I just wanted to make sure my voice was heard um, where I stand on it. Black Lives Matter, period. Black Lives Matter, period. Period. No justice, no peace. But um, during these trying times, I've been trying to, you know, um, get closer to God. Uh, I've been growing my faith, growing my spirituality. I've been trying to keep my mental health together because, like I said, this is very trying times. A lot of people are done. A lot of people are tired of seeing this. A lot of people are sick to their stomach. A lot of people are heartbroken. And these riots are happening. This looting is happening because... We don't know how to put, we don't know where and how to control all of the anger that we are facing. And first it's peaceful protesting, but then you have police, you know, pushing people, stumping people, dragging them, and then arresting them. Of course, people are getting more and more and more angry. So yes, we're going to burn stuff down. We're going to break into things. I mean, the stealing, I don't condone. I I would rather just break into the place, but leave everything just so that, you know, it's a statement. But people are angry and I'm angry and I'm hurt. And I've been trying my hardest to just not break down every day. Um, I did break down yesterday. Um, I'm trying not to break down right now um, because This is this is this is heartbreaking and it's happening all the time. All the time. And George Floyd, yes, he's definitely a movement and there's other black un innocent unarmed black men there are other movements as well, but it's a lot of them that we don't even know that's getting killed every day. That we don't even know about. But with this time, um I've been Listening to a lot of gospel music, I hope everyone is getting closer to God because a lot of people are lost right now. A lot of people are brainwashed. They're getting farther and farther away from the kingdom. And a lot of people, that's why a lot of people are hurting people because they, they don't know God. They don't because if they did, they would know love is love. People are people. So um, today, my grandparents, they're uh, pastors. They sent me this song this morning I woke up to. And I'm sorry. Whew. If y'all, anyone that knows me, know I cry all the time. I do just because like I like to get my emotions out. But um, they sent me this song. And I've been listening to it all this morning. Got in the shower, listened to it. Listened to it while I was getting ready for this video, while I was doing my makeup, all of that. They sent me this song, and it's um, it's tor it's by Tori Kelly. She's a gospel artist. I'm pretty sure everyone knows of Tori Kelly. Um, she has a new album out called Hiding Place, and I love this album. Even though I just heard of it this morning, I love it because each song talks about what's going on in the world right now, and like it has artists such as Kirk Franklin, Lecrae, and other people that are also other famous gospel singers. And you guys have to listen to this. Um, I pray that you all are listening to gospel, getting closer to God. But with this album, it's one specific song on there that talks about literally what just happened and i don't know if she just released this album i don't i think this it might be new i don't know if she wrote this song and released this album as this is going on but it's the song called help us to love by her in this album the album is hiding place <sighs> that song really talks about everything that's going on also my other favorite songs on the album is only about eight songs on the album my other favorite songs is Psalms 42 and also Never Alone. And Never Alone features the Kirk Franklin. And I love Kirk Franklin. He's always been a, a great 
gospel singer and rapper in my eyes. Um, y'all, y'all have to, y'all have to get closer to God because this world, this world now is falling apart, and we need Him more than ever. And He's going to be coming. He's coming. He's coming. Whether you want to believe it or not, He's coming. So I just want you all, I want to encourage you all to, you know, read the Bible. I I really struggle with reading the Bible just because it's in the language and the the knowledge is in the, and how they word everything is harder for me to understand because I wasn't born around that time. And, you know, the Bible used very um, intellectual words and I have to do more studying, but if you can find like it's versions of apps on your phone that you can use to read the bible um we're on our phone 24 7 don't act like you're not so, well you know you do stuff outside of being on your phone like your job and all of that but most of the time we're on our phone if you can be on social media you can also be reading your bible and this is also me trying to say it to myself it's really difficult for me to read it just because like i said the wording and it's just something I gotta like really study and just even if you can't read the Bible even if reading the Bible is difficult for you at least just look up scriptures try to find as much knowledge as you can about the Lord um about God about the Bible and just get get closer to him because and like I said in this time trying time we need him we do Without him, everything else is going to fall. And that's exactly what he has been showing us. A lot of people are losing faith. A lot of people are going farther and farther away from him. And a lot of that is shown within police brutality. Um, this this whole racial war that Donald Trump's trying to start. That This is showing us. And when you don't have faith and when you don't believe in God... You become a very, very evil creature. A very, very evil creature. And you do things that's very unholy. You allow people to die. You kill people. You wish bad on people. You you discriminate. And we're seeing that firsthand with our president. Well, with not mine, but you know what I'm saying. So just 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 have faith guys and do what you can to keep your well-being with all this stuff going on um if you need to go shout if you need to go protest go ahead and do it um i wish i was as brave as you all maybe one day i'll go out there when i just don't care anymore when i don't even care about risking my life like then i will when i get fed up when I get fed up to where I'm ready to attack, then I will go out there. And if something happens, it happens. But at this point in time, I'm just not brave enough to go through that. I'm not. It's too much going on. But we all know what's going on right now. They, The men, the police officers that killed George Floyd are now in police custody. Right now, all I know is um the the main police officer, the white man, um he is charged with second degree and the other three officers are right now just um in police um custody. I'm not sure exactly what they got charged with. <sighs> but I do want to say black lives matter. George Floyd, life matter. Trayvon Martin, life matter. All of them innocent black men, not even innocent black men, innocent black people, period. All of their lives matter. And it's a lot of stories that have been untold that we have to do research on. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video um, before it get too deep. I don't want to go the whole day talking about this, but uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all are standing for something because if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything and you need to be standing for Black Lives Matter. Um, 
if you all share the same views i would like you all to comment like this video say whatever you have to say uh, if i see any hate towards this video or anything that says all lives matter you're going to get blocked i'm going to block you and i'm probably going to delete it even if you don't want to comment just go ahead and like the video you don't even have to like it you don't have to like it. you don't have to comment you don't have to do anything i just wanted to get this out because I wanted to get this off my chest and I wanted to share my views on this platform. And so with that being said, thank you all for watching. Um, try to have good spirits, y'all. Have good spirits and have a good day.